because here's the deal. The people that were sitting in the back, the rich guys, you know, the, the people who always seem to find a way to get ahead, they were sitting in the back saying, hmm, how do we price this stock? We're going to put this stock out there. What's what's how do we figure out a price to offer the stock at? Right. So they said, OK, um, Airbnb is a popular company, but that's not important. What matters is the, the, the true intrinsic value. So they sat there and they they pulled out their computer algorithms and ran software analyses and everything else. And, and they, they, they came to a conclusion. OK, our stock is worth about fifty five dollars a share. Right. So that's what we're going to offer it for, because that's the true value. And that's what we think people will pay. But then somebody said, no, 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 DoorDash. Yo, somebody came in and said, stop the presses. Stop the presses. Look, homie, there's a, there's a lot of suckers out here. D did you see what happened with DoorDash? You're like, no, Bob, what happened with DoorDash? Well, DoorDash went out on the market for one price and the price doubled in the first day. It damn near doubled the first day. So I said, oh my God. So we have suckers out here that'll pay anything for a share of stock because they don't know what we know. We have what is called what we refer to in finance as financial scholar geeks. We refer to this as information asymmetry. They have information and expertise on the true value of the company using discounted cash flow analyses that somebody isn't going to have if they're sitting there with their Robinhood account and never took a finance class. So they like DoorDash. They don't know if, 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 if DoorDash should be $100 a share or if it should be $50 a share or if it should be $200 a share. All they know is that they order from DoorDash every other day and they think it's an awesome company, dude. Right. So they say, my God, there are so many suckers out here. And there are so many fish out here that the sharks on Wall Street, they call them, they, 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 they actually do call them sharks. There are a lot of sharks and wolves. You remember the wolf of Wall Street, shark of Wall Street? They're not the fish of Wall Street. They're not the sheep of Wall Street. They're the wolves and the sharks. So the shark said, man, there's a whole lot of fresh fish out here. Let's go out here and get paid. So what Airbnb did at the last minute is they said, let's go ahead and take a chance. Let's go ahead and, and push the price up a little bit and see if these suckers will pay that price. Let's, let's try for $68 a share, see if they'll buy it. Not only did the public buy that stock for $68 a share, on the very first day, the price went all the way up to $144.71. How many languages do I need to speak to say that if you're paying that type of price for, for Airbnb, I hate to say it to you, I love you, but you just got played like a sucker. That is not the right price to pay for this stock. 